Welcome back to Teach Man to Fish channel. Today's video, we're taking this show not on the road, on the ocean. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this trip, we left Rudy Inlet mid-morning and we caught the bite just right. We drove out of the inlet, took a hard right, and there was plenty of activity on the surface. Lots of bait fish, which you can see in the video here, breaking the surface. The birds and the mackerel were both eating glass minnows and working the school. This is what their bellies were full of. We were rigged up to run Clark spoons on number two planers and an inline weight. Everything that they were biting on was silver and trolling at about eight miles an hour. There were even some times when we had some doubles working. Make sure you stay until the end because we're going to be cleaning up and cooking these on the grill. Now as a couple of novices, my first mate and I, we're doing some learning and for the rest of the day we went out and tried to do some structure fishing all the way out on the light tower and even all the way out to the new windmills that sit about 27 miles off the coast. But I can tell you this, we don't have the skills yet or the knowledge on all of the ways to fish. The next skill set that we'll be tackling will be wreck fishing just to add another element to our options when we come out here on the ocean. As we put more of these videos on the Teach a Man to Fish channel, you see us making mistakes or you got ideas or even questions about what we're doing, please feel free to post them down below. I love interacting with you guys and just having that back and forth dialogue in the comments. So we got our fill, about six in the box. We ended up losing two in the process of bringing them in. Now we'll go ahead and work our way in where I can show you a quick cook on the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. I love it when he gets plum tuckered out. These are a pretty easy fish to fillet. To this mix, we'll throw a little bit of lime juice in some soy sauce, just a dash of olive oil because it is kind of an oily fish already, and just a little bit of black pepper, but not too much because you don't want to overpower this fish. If you like any of the gear or equipment we use in this video, look down below in the description and you'll be able to purchase them through Amazon links. Grilling these garden fresh poblanos and jalapenos is what's going to take the longest, so I start those out first. Oh no. You dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> In theory, you should marinate these for about four hours, but I found just in the time of getting the grill ready and the peppers on that the flavor sets in just fine. I tell you what, it's absolutely great watching this grill work. This thing is made of cast iron, so you get some of the benefits of having the cast iron fry temperatures. 
I love cooking on this Lodge Sportsman's Grill. Smells really good. So YouTube says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits. This is my latest upload, and over here is a playlist that you might enjoy. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.